asset fast stain. This is one of the second uh, uh, differential stains to cover up, and that is all about your acid fast stain. Acid fast stain ki baat karu, again, these are the headings under which I would be describing or um, talking about your gram stain. Sorry, talking in detail the descriptions of your acid fast stain. So again, we introduction ki baat kar lete pehle. Let's talk about the introduction first. Okay? Introduction again, scientist ke baare mein baat karna. Gram stain. Christian Gram, Hans Christian Gram was the scientist who discovered this thing. Whereas your acid fast stain, it was discovered by Paul Ehrlich and it was later on modified by Zeeland Nielsen. Done? And that's the reason is this stain is also called as the ZN stain. This is also called as the ZN stain. Any problem why it is called as a ZN stain? Because later on it was modification was done by Zeeland Nielsen. Discovery was, uh, okay, it was discovered by Paul or Lich. Never forget this basic introductory segment. Let's shift towards the next important slide, and that is uh, so done with the introduction. So, ho gaya hai. Ab iska principle cover up karte hai. Can you all recall the Gram stain ka principle? What was the main uh, thing? We all just talked about the main theory was the cell wall, and what was the component? Peptidoglycan ke andar differences the, and uske basis se unhone explain kya tha Gram stain ko. Peptidoglycan. But when you talk about your acid fast stain, acid fast stain jo hota hai. It is mainly dependent upon the mycolic acid ka content present in your cell wall. So cell wall mein mycolic acid ka content kitna hoga, uske basis pe we can discuss, okay, we define the acid fastness of a particular bacteria. Okay, here they are saying, higher is the content of the mycolic acid. Jitna zada mycolic acid hoga, utna zada uska acid fastness would be more. Any problem in remembering this basic over here? And last they have, okay, last I have added a point over here. That is, hence, more amount of sulfuric acid is required for the decolorization. This particular statement, I will be coming up back again when we are describing, when I will be describing the procedure of this acid fasting, I will be putting some light on this thing as well. Don't worry. Let's shift towards the next segment. And that is done with the introduction, ho gaya hai, principle, ho gaya, aajate hai procedure ki taraf. So if I talk about the procedure over here, see, again, let me give you a quick recap. Before starting with anything, first you have to prepare the smear. The first step comes out to be smear preparation. Second, you will do a heat fixation because it is a bacterial smear. And third step, that is nothing but the procedure, the complete procedure. The step one of primary stain, then step two is your decolorization, and step three is your counter staining. Okay? So, smear preparation, here are some characteristics. It should not be too thick nor too thin, right? And um, it should always be done near a flame, right? At six inches around there. Why do we have to provide, okay? Why a smear, bacterial smear, ko ek flame ke against flame ke around you prepare karna chahi? Reason is simple. See, bacterial smear, if you are preparing a bacterial smear, what will happen guys? What will happen? There are chances that the aerosols from that smear can be arising in the in, in the immediate environment and the person preparing it can inhale and can get infections. Okay. So in order to avoid that thing, you should always have a burning flame nearby, like nearly six inches in the vicinity of a where the surrounding where you are basically preparing the slide so that all the aerosols arising from that particular smear are like killed or they get uh, degenerated in the that uh, flame around the flame so that is called as the thing so smear preparation i'm not doing the details again these are certain points you should know second you have to definitely bacterial smear to heat fix karna. in the starting these two things i have already elaborated now the main uh, highlight of this thing is to cover up the procedure over here okay the main highlight over here is nothing but to uh, do the explain you the procedure so let's wind up with the procedure first of all again i'm going to do it in the similar manner only if you all talk about the entire procedure, first step, we are going to heat it. So, we have to do the primary stain. Second is decolorization. And lastly, we are going to talk about the counter stain. Let's recall and compare it with something called as a gram stain. Gram stain, we first step, which was primary stain. Tha. Second, we have to add a mordant. Right? But here, in the second step, we have decolorization. Likha hai. Remember, one thing to highlight over here is this thing. Heat. You have to heat. ZN stain is a hot method, guys, because here heating ka involvement. In gram stain, mein we, don't, we don't heat. We add iodine over there. So that hum ka jo primary stain is fixed and fix ja retention. But ja here we have to heat. We have to heat. After addition of the primary stain, we have to heat. So first step is primary stain. Along with that, we are going to do the heating. Then we are going to do the decolorization and lastly counter staining, which is similar to gram stain. Ke tarah. Let's do done with the first of all steps clear. Ho gaye now we are going to describe okay, all the agents that are used over here. Primary stain, example, here is carbol fusion. Gram stain ke case mein, all the pararosanilin dyes, such as your crystal violet ho gaya, gentian violet, to pe violet stain ta, hain pe hum carbol fusion use kar rahe hai as the first, okay, as the first primary stain. 
डीकलराइजर एंड हीटिंग तो कर ही रहे हो आप लोग यहाँ पे डीकलराइजर ओके सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड 25 परसेंट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज यूज एंड लास्टली काउंटर स्टेनिंग के लिए पॉइंट वन परसेंट मिथिलीन ब्लू इज यूज एज अ काउंटर स्टेन एनी प्रॉब्लम इन रिमेम्बरिंग द एजेंट दैट आर यूज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ड्यूरेशन फॉर विच यू हैव टू डू दिस थिंग कार्बल फ्यूशन इज लाइक नियरली डन फॉर ओके वैव टू अपलाइड फॉर नियरली फाइव मिनट्स तक के लिए अप्लाई करना पड़ता है हीटिंग इज डन ओके ऑन एन इंटरमीडियंट बेसिस यू हैव टू हीट इट ठीक है एंड एज सुन एज यू गोट टू हीट ओके देर आर चांसेस क्या आप लोग का जो स्लाइड है After addition of the primary stain, it will start drying. So to prevent the drying of that thing, more solution can be added, guys. Okay, more solution of the stain can be added in order to prevent drying of the slide while heating. Then second step, decolorization. Sulfuric acid you have to add on right, and you have to allow it to stay for nearly two to four minutes. Counter stain me 0.1 percent methylene blue. Just use karo aap log. It is left for nearly 30 seconds. Kela aap log ko you have to allow it to stay on the slide. Okay, and then you have to rinse the slide. Done with this thing. Let's describe each and every details. Okay, over here. So after doing the primary stain, you apply it. After doing it, rinsing. After doing it, after rinsing the slide. After doing the primary staining, the slide should look red in color. Very important. It should red, look red in color. Decolorization. When you do it, you add 25 percent sulfuric acid. You wait two to four minutes. Wait. After that, after that, we should rinse the slide. Okay, after rinsing, okay, your slide should kind of a properly decolorized slide will appear light pink in color. If it still appears red in color, you have to repeat this thing. Okay, you have to reapply the sulfuric acid is reapplied if it is still red in color. Okay, until unless this proper typical pink light pink color नहीं आता decolorization के बाद. Done and dusted. And then comes the counter staining. If I talk about the counter staining, counter staining is done with the methylene blue for 30 seconds. You have to place it. And after doing the counter staining, you have to just okay wash it with the tap water and dry the slide. Observe it under. Okay. द ऑयल इमोजन फील के अंदर उसे ऑब्जर्व करना होता है कंटेमिनेटेड मटीरियल्स एंड योर स्लाइड दिस थिंग फाइव परसेंट फिनॉल सोल्यूशन के अंदर कोई भी स्लाइड या जो हम लोग बनाते हैं बैक्टीरियल स्मियर जब बनता है इफ एनी मटीरियल ओके जो स्पेसिमिन है ना और द स्लाइड दैट यू प्रिपेयर इफ यू टू डिस्कार्ड इट यू हैव टू डिस्कार्ड इट समथिंग फाइव परसेंट फिनॉल सोल्यूशन ठीक है विद दिस वी रैप अप विद समथिंग कॉल्ड एज द प्रोसीजर ऑफ योर ग्राम सॉरी एसिड फास्ट एनिंग एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेगमेंट टू कवर अप अंडर दिस थिंग इज द डी कलराइजेशन If you have a look over here, guys. So decolorization, जब आप करते हो, ठीक है? As I said you in the starting first page itself, I let you all know more is the mycolic acid, more is the acid fastness, and more amount of sulfuric acid is required. So from here, can you all just make out this thing? If I'm doing a mycobacterium tuberculosis के लिए, I'm requiring 25% of this thing, and so on different different organisms के लिए, we can appreciate over here that is either 5%, 1%, 0.5%, or 2.5. Sorry, 0.25% to 0.5% of sulfuric acid. So, what does this indicates? That is, Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the most acid-fast organism because 25% sulfuric acid is required because it is having okay, it is therefore it is having much more concentration of mycolic acid in the cell wall. Okay, so that is like just a comparative analysis. Just remember this thing: more is the mycolic acid content, more is the acid fastness, and more is the sulfuric acid ka amount that is required for decolorization. and this is the table that you should remember if you remember all this table examples are also done and this concentrations are also done that which uh, that how much amount of concentration is required for decolorization of sulfuric acid okay let's uh, wrap up this segment with the next important topic that is so over here we are done with something that is called as the introduction ho gaya hai principle ho gaya procedure i have done okay let's talk about the interpretation over here now how to interpret a uh, slide of acid fast two possibilities again either the organism can be acid fast or it can be acid or it can be non acid fast agar acid fast organism hoga so definitely it is going to appear red in color because it is retaining the primary stain which is in case of acid fast is carbol fusion we can appreciate multiple as a red red color ke bacilli can be appreciated over here so these are all your acid fast organisms that can be appreciated over here right and non acid fast if i talk about so non acid fast organism if you are look over here तो नॉन एसिड फास्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन यू अप्रिशिएट दिस ऑल ठीक है ये जो सेगमेंट्स है ब्लू ब्लू कलर के दे आर अपीयरिंग ब्लू इन कलर बिकॉज़ दे विल टेक द काउंटर स्टेन ओवर हियर व्हिच वाज मिथिलीन ब्लू सो दे अपीयर काइंड ऑफ ब्लू इन कलर सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ नॉन एसिड फास्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म्स नाउ वन थिंग दैट आई वांटेड टू पुट हाईलाइट ओवर हियर इज द अपीयरेंस ऑफ माइकोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे विल अपीयर लॉन्ग स्लेंडर ठीक है दे आर लॉन्ग स्लेंडर बेसिल आई तो ऑब्वियसली बात है लॉन्ग स्लेंडर होगा इट कैन बी स्ट्रेट ओके इट कैन बी स्ट्रेट और इट कैन बी सी स्लाइटली कर्व भी हो सकते हैं कुछ बात सिलाए और इट इज काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेट ठीक है एंड समटाइम्स बीडेड भी हो सकता है ठीक है और इट कैन बी बीडेड एज वेल समटाइम्स समटाइम्स द बीडेड अपीयरेंस भी देखने को मिल सकता है एंड डेफिनेटली इट इज एन एसिड फास्ट बेसिलस तो उसका अपीयरेंस कैसा होगा रेड कलर का होगा अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप 
right so done with the interpretation two possibilities if it is red color it is acid fast if it is blue color it is non acid fast i hope you know the reason why right then comes into picture that is called as your users ki baat kar lete now okay let's discuss the users of this thing definitely to identify the acid fast organisms and see if you are talking about your zn stain ki baat jab bhi kar rahe ho never forget to put the word that is mycobacterium tuberculosis this is this particular procedure we are mainly using for the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis there are other also there are other organisms also but mainly it is the mycobacterium tuberculosis done till here so uses bhi ho gaye yahan par hum logo ke right so we are done with the uses let's talk about some examples take over here theek hai no longer separate booking for rim sim card this is the mnemonic that we can use over here ab ek ek karke main sabka full form bata do n over here stands for nocardia l stands for your legionella okay n stands for nocardia l stands for legionella then uh, your s stands for something called as smegma bacilli then b over here is going to stand for your bacterial spores okay then yahan pe jo r i and m this three important segment stands for rhodococcus isospora and m stands for three important species mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae and we have the microsporidium ending the segment with something called as the spermatic head s stands for spermatic head and c again over here jo c hai hamara इससे भी तीन स्पीशीज आती है थ्री सीज टू बी रिमेम्बर्ड ओके एंड आर नथिंग बट ओवर आई गेस इट नॉट विजिबल फर्स्ट स्टैंड फॉर योर क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम ओके फर्स्ट सी स्टैंड फॉर योर क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम सेकंड स्टैंड फॉर साइक्लोस्पोरा एंड थर्ड स्टैंड फॉर योर सिस्टो आइसोस्पोरा एनी प्रॉब्लम इन रिमेम्बरिंग दिस थिंग सो दिस मार्क्स दी एंड ऑफ समथिंग कॉल्ड एज द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ऑल योर एसिड फास्ट बट मेनली इफ हाईलाइट दिस वन दैट ट्यूबोक्यूलॉसिस एंड लेपरे दीज आर द मेन ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड ऑल्सो नेवर फॉरगेट बैटरी स्पोज और ऑल्सो एसिड फास्ट इन नेचर mildly acid fast hote hain but hote hain theek hai so done with all these things just left with something called as the modification let's talk about the modification over here two important modifications i already let you all know that is dead end stain okay heating is required over here heating is required so therefore this dead end stain is called as a hot method whereas the two other important uh, alternatives that is the kinyons method and the gabbets method ye jo methods hote hain these are cold methods why because there is no heating required no heating is required as compared to a zn stain jahan pe heating required hote therefore it is called as a hot method so these two are nothing but your cold method kin yons method and we have the gabbets method then let's shift towards the next important segment and that is your albert stain so with this we mark the end of something called as all your um, what you can say zn stain ho gaya hai all the things introduction and a principal procedure interpretation users modifications examples under each and every heading we have done let's uh, wrap up the segment by discussing all your albert stain ke bare mein baat kar lete hain albert stain ki jab baat kar rahe ho one single bacteria should always remember and that is your c diphtheria okay it should always be the c diphtheria you have to remember this bacteria because hum logo ka albert stain is mainly done for the c diphtheria theek hai so let's uh, shift towards the next segment again it is described under this four headings introduction procedure composition and interpretation shifting on towards the introduction guys why are we performing this thing so it is very important never forget this term that is as i already said you all albert stain matlab corneal bacterium diphtheri which part so it is done for the identification this one and also this particular structure that is called metachromatic granules okay for the demonstration of metachromatic granules so what are these metachromatic granules will be coming shortly on that as well so done with the introduction that is why are we performing this particular stain for the detection of the metachromatic granules of corneal bacterium diphtheri then comes the procedure procedure three simple things and you are good to go first of all definitely you have to prepare the smear first step is nothing but always you going to prepare the smear first prepare the smear second you are going to heat fix the slide theek okay? hai after heat fixing you have to cover the slide okay with something called as the albert stain theek okay? hai that's the theek okay? hai so you have to cover it with something called as the albert stain 1 so first wala jo part hota that is called as your albert stain 1 and you have to apply it for nearly 5 minutes theek okay? hai excess amount is drained out this is the first step theek okay? hai then albert 2 you have to add on the second stain that is the albert 2 and you have to wait it for like now nearly about 1 minute ke liye aapko usko wait karna padta hai then wash the slide okay with water blot it dry and definitely under the oil immersion field we have to examine the slide so this is how you have to prepare first do the smear second heat fix it add albert 1 for 5 minutes then add albert 2 for 1 minutes and after that wash the slide blot it dry and then observe it under something called as the oil immersion field that is what is called as the albert stain then comes into picture so done with the introduction the procedure let's jump towards the composition of your albert stain very important segment guys albert stain is made up of two important components that is albert 1 and albert 
एल्बर्ट वन जो होता है इट इज मेड अप ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फाइव कॉम्पोनेट एंड एल्बर्ट टू की बात जब मैं करूंगा तो सिंपल इट इज आयोडीन इन पोटेशियम आयोडाइड ठीक है तो एल्बर्ट टू तो एवरी वन रिमेबर्स एल्बर्ट वन यू हैव टू रिमेबर फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ एल्बर्ट वन देर आर टू कलर गाइज ठीक है दर इज टोलविड इन ब्लू एंड देर इज मैलेड ग्रीन तो दो कलर हो गए ठीक है देन यू हैव टू एज टू इट दैट इज ग्लेशियल एसिटिक एसिड एंड दल्कोहल बींग स्पेसिफिक द आंसर इज नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट एथेनॉल दैट इज यूज एज Okay, that is used in Albert one as an alcohol, and lastly you have to put the distilled water. So two colors, two A's, and lastly you have to put the distilled water as a solvent, right? So these are the composition of the Albert one and Albert two. So done and dusted with something called as the introduction. हो गया procedure हो गया, and then we're going to talk about the composition, and then we're going to talk about the interpretation. ठीक है? Let's uh, wrap up with something called as the interpretation over here. So if you want to talk about the interpretation, guys, three dip theory जो होती है. How it is appearing under the microscope? Okay. So have a look. First of all, this is the beautiful image shown over here on the right hand side. First thing, can we appreciate green colored bacilli? Yeah, right? na. By looking at the image, we can say, ah, this is a bacilli over here, and they are green colored bacilli. So we can see something called as this type of green colored bacilli can be appreciated. Look at the arrangement over here. The arrangement have a specific name. They are looking as if they are like Chinese letters, or they are having a cuneiform pattern of arrangement. Okay. So first thing you say, green colored bacilli can be appreciated, and second, the arrangement is looking as if just some Chinese letters are placed, or it is the pattern is cuneiform type. Take okay? a cuneiform pattern or Chinese letter arrangement. And lastly, there are something there is C. Ye upper, can you see this thing? At the polar ends of both these things, we can appreciate some okay. Bluish black color ke granules can be seen. So H at each and every. Polar end, we can appreciate some blue-black color granules surrounding, and that are called as your metachromatic granules. These are bluish-black color granules. Okay, so if you are appreciating something called as some green-colored bacilli, okay, the arrangement is like Chinese letter, and with some bluish-black metachromatic granules, definitely it is a slide showing the C diphtheri by Albert Stein. Done. So I hope the uh, the interpretation, the appearance is very much clear under the segment. Let's jump towards the next important segment. So with this, we mark the end of something called as the differential scene as well. But before calling it for the session, I just wanted to add a note point to it, right? Now, see, there are two uh, important exceptions you can say, or uh, just certain note points regarding Albert Stein. Corani bacterium diphtheri is having the metachromatic granules. So you perform the Albert Stein, you can visualize it. There are something called as diphtheroids. Diphtheroids, jo the, these are some organisms which are diphtheria like organisms they are called as diphtheroids okay they do not show any granule guys and the arrangement okay they show is palisade pattern okay so diphtheroids there is no granules and the arrangement of the pattern is palisade pattern not the cuneiform pattern or a chinese letter arrangement nahi hota they are palisade pattern and they do not show any granules and na if such a finding is seen you can label it as the diphtheroids lastly there are two uh, again some species called as your gardnerella vaginale c serosis these two are certain bacterial species which will possess the metachromatic granules okay which possesses the metachromatic granules right so this is the end of this discussion this marks the end of this session about the staining techniques i hope you all enjoyed this session and thanks for watching if you definitely like this video or was this content helpful then you know the drill do like share and subscribe to my channel and that is ams mbbs lectures thank you for watching thanks for watching If you all found this video useful then do like, share and subscribe to my channel which is AMSMBBS Lectures.